let's make some 3D layered designs using Illustrator. I'm going to show you how to make this cute little dinosaur turn into a 3D paper cut project. You can use this for cutting paper. You can use this as a laser project. You will just have to change your outlines if you're using it for a laser. But for today, I'm just gonna call this a paper craft and I'm gonna show you how to make this dinosaur a layered design. So I'm starting with just an outline. This is an SVG vector file. It's just a dinosaur that I drew on my iPad and then I uploaded it into Illustrator and traced the outlines and turned it into a vector file. If you open a PNG file that's an outline, you will need to convert it to vectors before you can start doing this. So let's get started. Once I have my outline uploaded, I like to make a copy of this. You can do this by right clicking and select copy and paste, or you can just hold down option or alt and drag. Once I've made a copy, I'll just keep this outline kind of to the side. And then I am going to right click on this dinosaur and click on release compound path. Now click on the dinosaur. You may have to zoom in a little bit to get the outline piece. Here we go. And just drag it to the side. We will be using this. And now you can see all of the pieces of the dinosaur. So what I like to do now is just zoom in a little bit and go ahead and color it whatever colors you think you want your dinosaur to be. I'm just going to pick a green. I want his body to be green and I will select all of the pieces that I want to be that same color and change it that color and then select all of the green pieces and go to object and compound path and make. And so now this piece is one solid piece. I want his teeth to be a white color and his claws to be a white color and I will just select all of those and then I'm going to make this a compound path again object compound path and make and then I'm going to turn that just kind of an off-white color so we can see it on the artboard. Maybe like a light gray. Okay, now I'm selecting the pieces of his stomach and I'm going to make that a compound path. And then I want it to be this yellow color. I'm also going to make his eye this yellow color. So then I need to select his eye piece and his stomach and make that a compound path. Okay, now we have all of our pieces colored and our compound paths are made. So now you want to see how many colors you have in your design. We have one green two yellow, three this light gray color, and four is black for his eyeball. So we have four colors. Once you figure out how many colors you have in your design, go to your solid piece, and then go to object and path, offset path, when your offset path box pops up, I like to set these at 0.1 inch and I like to keep them rounded. That will just make sure the edges are round and you don't get any funky angles on them. So click OK. And then repeat this three more times. You want to do this one time for every color that you have in your design. Okay, now we have four copies, which you can't really see because they're all black. So actually you will have five copies, including the original. I just delete the original, 
and then I start adding the color. I like to start with the most complicated looking pieces. So for this one, that would be these little gray teeth. And then go to the next layer and select another color. I chose the yellow pieces. And then for this one, I'm going to do the black eyeball, which it's already black. I didn't have to do that. And then for the last one, it will be the green color. And that will be a solid piece. Now you will drag your outline piece that we saved to the side and just put it on top here. We can make sure this is aligned by highlighting all of the pieces and going to the Align menu. If you do not see this box on the side, go to Window and Align and check mark that and it will pop up. And I will just select Horizontal Align Center and Vertical Distribute Center and that will center everything up. So now we will cut the parts out of each layer. I'm starting with the gray piece and I am going to delete all of the gray pieces because I just want to cut the yellow parts, the black parts, and the green parts out of this gray piece. So select everything and I like to make a copy of this. Copy and paste. And then take this copy and go to Object, Compound Path, and Make. And now it is a solid piece. So just line this up and just get that centered the best you can. And then select the yellow piece and the gray piece. And then go to Minus Front. And then that cuts all of that out of that gray solid piece. So now we are going to the next layer, which is yellow. Delete your yellow layer, select your green and your black layer, and copy and paste. And then go to Object, Compound Path, and Make and then line this piece up. Just try to get it the best you can. You can zoom in if you want to see a little bit better. Once you get that lined up, you are going to click on the black piece and the yellow piece and go to Pathfinder and minus front and you will see now you have the yellow pieces cut out. Now we are going to cut out of the black piece. Delete the black piece in your pieces over here and then select all of the green pieces and go to Object, Down Path, and Make. Now take your green piece. Let's bring this to the front. Arrange, bring to front, so we can just see it a little bit better. Okay, and zoom in a little and just line this up and then select your green piece and your black piece and go to Pathfinder and minus front. And now you have all of your layer pieces. If you pull them apart, you will see each one has been cut out now we just have to line up our pieces. So take your bottom green layer and then let's place the black layer on top. Just line it up. Select both of those and right click and arrange and send to back. And now bring your yellow piece in and line it up and select all three of those and send to back. And then bring your gray piece in and line it up. And then select all of those and send to back. And then grab your outline piece and line it up. And there we go. Now we have a 3D 
layered dinosaur that is great for paper crafts or laser projects. You can do this with any outline or any coloring book page type of design. These are just fun little crafts to make and fun little designs to make. And that is how we make 3D layer designs using Illustrator.